Hey everybody, Mike and Liza with 47 products. Uh, out with the uh, Savage Mark II, um, testing out the uh, sled, and then also uh, just trying to, to get some groups out of a, a handful of different uh, types of ammo. Got the uh, CCI 40 grains out here. Uh, this has been my kind of go-to for this rifle. Although today not really shooting too well. Honestly, uh, I think it's me. I think I'm just having an off day on the range. Uh, but anyway, this wasn't shooting too terribly well uh, for me. Also got some uh, Gemtech out here, 42 grains. I uh, had heard a handful of different people talking about this online, uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and give it a go. Uh, ended up uh, finding that at my uh, local range when I also was able to uh, finally get my hands on some SK. I have the uh, Standard Plus and the Rifle Match. Both of these are cracking as they're going down range, so I think they're they're supersonic. Honestly, I didn't even do any research on them ahead of time to find out uh, you know what the, the speeds were with it, or even the bullet weights. Um, groups really weren't all that good. Um, I think that uh, might have been me. Like I said, I, I just don't think I'm uh, I'm doing too well with my precision shooting today. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm having fun. That was fun. <laughs> I'm having fun at the range. As you can see, the wind's picking up a little bit here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a couple rounds down on the, the Know Your Limits target. I was shooting a little bit ago and was really uh, feeling good with this, this Gemtech and put some range, uh, rounds right where I wanted. So I went down there and I've got my, uh, my GoPro set up and then my buddy showed up. I'm over at his place at his range and uh, uh, appropriately enough, he needed to uh, need some help carrying in a, a new stove in range. Uh, he had a, had an issue with his old one, so he went to the store and got those today. So I helped him get that inside. So dealing with a cold bore right now, uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and try the Know Your Limits target, and we'll see how we end up. Like I said, this Gem Tech has been shooting pretty darn well for me today. Um, we'll see how we do on this. All right. On safe. One. Two. Saw that bullet and boy did it smack it right in the middle. Three. Four. Really happy with the performance of this sled so far today. Five. I'm having some extraction issues. I think that the chamber's just getting a little dirty. About 3,000 rounds, probably a little over 3,000 rounds through this thing since I cleaned it last. Yeah, I run a boar snake down it, but I've been like really cleaning it. Six. <sighs> oh, miss seven just to the left. All right, going back to the beginning. One. Two. Matt's actually here today. Maybe we'll actually get him on camera. Oh, his wife is heading off to work. Three. So I overset that one a little bit. Four. Just missed again to the left. Dang it. That was on five, I think. All right, slow down. Let's see if I can run this thing.
like I said, not shooting great today, but I sure am having fun. This is uh, my lunch break. <laughs> I have a, uh, I'm, an, I'm an IT guy. I have a desk job. I work out of my house, but I have a desk job, and I'm getting away from the desk on my lunch today. See ya. Okay, back to five. Hit it that time. Going to six. Seven. Ah. Missed that one to the right. <laughs> I've been missing the left. Did a little bit of hold. Oh. All right, I'm going to go back to seven. See if I can get that sucker. There's seven. All right, so I did hold a little bit off of it just a tad. Going to eight, see if I can replicate that hold. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, well, I know where I am. Only thing is I got three bullets. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's just try all three of these rounds on that number eight. Let's see if we can get all three of them on there. Replicate that same hold. Nope. Too much hold. Just missed it to the left. Ooh. To the right and just above. It's nice having that black background. And I got the bullet coming in with the sun on it. I can see it as it goes by usually. All right, one more. Gonna hold just a smidge left. You can see the dandelions moving a little bit down there. Oh, just under. Oh, wow. Well, that's fun. Uh, um, like I said, I'm not shooting great today, but I sure am having a blast. Um, having a good time testing this uh, the uh, Savage sled here. Uh, very happy with the design. Uh, I'm going to make one small adjustment on the back here to hopefully you know, help a little bit more in oversetting. Um, but I'm really, really happy with this design. Uh, I've got a couple of them out there. I've got uh, went out to the gentleman that I, I met on Rimfire Central that has the uh, pre E receiver. Uh, he's uh, he's doing some testing for me. I'm very happy with the response that I got back from him. That's actually why I completely redid the top was just based upon his feedback alone. Um, and then I have a, another out to uh, some gentlemen up in Michigan that are 4-H uh, shooting instructors, and that's why I have this particular green. This is that, that new green color um, that uh, I got because uh, I wanted to have something available in, in sort of the 4-H Kelly green color. At first, I was a little hesitant uh, about using this, this particular material because it's a little different than what I'm normally used to, and especially after I had tried it the first time and I was having uh, some, some substantial wiggles in it. Um, but it turned out to be more of an issue with uh, design than anything else once I got it to where that bolt wasn't touching it. You can see now I've got a little bit of left and right, um, but there's nothing in the, the front to back and, and up and down. The up and down is completely solid, so I'm very, very happy with that. I'm not having the feeding issues where I was kind of having this front droop down anymore. There's nothing like that. It's locked in place really solid, and it's holding up well. Uh, this particular one has... Uh, 
well over a thousand rounds across it. I would say getting close to 2000 rounds across this one, just this one alone. Uh, at this point, I've, I've been out uh, here to the range. I mean, just today I put I'm close to 400 rounds across it. So very, very happy. Um, I, I think we're real, real close. Like I said, I got a couple more of these. I want to send out some, to some other beta testers just to get their feedback on it. Hopefully I'll get those packages up and, and get them sent out tomorrow. But I think we're, we're just about product ready for this. So look for uh, about a June launch. Uh, just give me some lead time for production. And then I, I think these are going to be ready to go out the door. So I'm, I'm excited, uh, having a great time uh, shooting the Savage Mark II, <laughs> even if I'm not all that accurate today. I sure am having a good time. Uh, this is how I would love to spend every single one of my lunches. Just come out here and throw some rounds down the range and just em enjoy this late spring day. Uh, this is It just doesn't get more beautiful than this in Ohio. Wonderful stuff. So thanks, everybody, for uh, spending some time. Hopefully, again, I'll, I'll have the, the uh, GoPro image of, of what we're doing uh, down here so you can see the shots uh, you can see me miss <laughs> but hey is what it is right let's uh let's just have some fun and uh again thanks for all the excitement about this you, you've got my uh you got me really excited about getting out to you just from the, the kind words i'm receiving from everybody in the community um just uh real excited to have another product out there for all of us thanks you'll have a good day bye